Severe weather anticipated tomorrow in general. Can't rule out a strong storm. We probably won't see anything like that. And that's certainly good news for you in West Point. Upper 60s, low 70s early, and then we're back into the upper 80s to around 90 during the course of the day. With a decent chance for some scattered showers and storms, especially from early afternoon on into the evening hours. So scattered storms tomorrow, Friday. Uh, still a chance for some storms there on Saturday. For the most part, upper 80s for the next three days. That is what we're looking at right now, what we're looking at here, that is the top of some cloud cover associated with some strong storms near Coleman, Alabama, but all quiet in Vernon at Durham's 83 degrees. It's looking great going into the early evening. You in Louisville, Mississippi, enjoying some sunshine, 85 degrees. Light northerly breezes, a little bit stronger with the wind in Columbus at the base, reporting 81. And for you in Tupelo, 82 degrees. It's been fairly cloudy for a good chunk of the day, but we are now seeing a little bit of sunshine. What you see here, comfortable temperatures, lower humidity. It's not too bad of a summer day around here. And because of the fact that we've had some cloud cover and a little bit more stable air, not a lot of shower activity locally, but just off to our east. I mean, just off to our east, we have some big time boomers over here near Coleman, southwest of Huntsville. There's actually a severe thunderstorm warning over there, but uh, we don't really have to worry about that for tonight. The upper air is set up for a little bit of a trough here right now, and this thing will be drifting across the region over the next two days, and that's going to boost our rain chance. So we think after the storms go away this evening in Alabama, can't rule out an isolated one here, but uh, that goes away tonight. Lows will be down into the mid and upper 60s in the morning, pretty comfortable. Now, by midday tomorrow, we should be back up into the upper or the uh, low to mid 80s here. Maybe a shower storm early, and then as we get into the afternoon and then the early to mid evening hours, we may see some showers and storms cross the region yet again. Those go away tomorrow night, and then we will likely do it again as we get into our Friday scattered showers and storms. And some of you will get some downpour. Some of you may miss out, but they are possible. All right, the updates on the tropics. On the tropics, we have this first disturbance down here in the eastern Caribbean. A decent chance for development over the next couple of days. Another one out here in the Atlantic. This is a little bit more impressive at this time. Both of these are... Expected to track back to the northwest as we go throughout the next week. And we'll just have to wait and see if they do strengthen. Where will they go? They could affect the southeast. If nothing else, with some heavy rain with some tropical moisture next week. So we're throwing back in the chance for some scattered showers and storms early next week. It will be muggy. But for the next two days, a better chance for some scattered showers and storms. All right, stay with us. You're